Hey everyone, so for today's video I'm going grocery shopping again and I've done a number of these videos in the past and you guys always seem to really love them but I thought I would do a different type of grocery shop for you guys and go Christmas grocery shopping and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm actually hosting a little Christmas party at my house today. I'm having a bunch of my friends around and I really want to cook them a roast and just kind of make the best Christmas dinner that I can but the thing is I've never cooked to roast in my life and I have no idea how to do it I don't know what to buy so it's gonna be really interesting I've made a bit of a shopping list and tried to work out what I need to get but I don't think I'm gonna really know until I actually get into the store so I've come to Coles with Brayden Brayden doesn't really know much about roast dinners either do you no no, no. so <laughs> this is just trouble really I'm actually thinking I might even just go to um, a shop and buy a ready-cooked turkey or pork or chicken or something because I just don't think I'm gonna know how to do it and I think that's a safer bet but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video and it makes you feel Christmassy and if you're planning on like hosting a little Christmas party for your friends hopefully it'll give you some inspiration I'm really excited about today so yeah let's just head into the store and go shopping <laughs> They've literally got Christmas desserts everywhere like pavlova, mince pies, Christmas pudding. I actually don't really like Christmas pudding though so I don't think I'm going to get any of these things. Picked up some dips because we're going to have like crackers and cheese and all that stuff but like they're really interesting flavours like crispy bacon and caramelised onion and avocado and bacon like I've never heard of them. This section's really cool because it's got all of like the meat in like a little section for you and it's all of like the Christmas meat. So we've got like the little pigs and blankets and we've got crackling. So I really like this because I feel like it just makes things so much easier. This is cool, they've got all these different flavored custards that are like Christmassy themed. So they've got like spice brandy, prime caramel, choc hazelnut, vanilla rum. So many Christmassy things. Time to get Christmas crackers. I don't know which ones to get. There's either these ones or these ones. Silver or gold? I think silver goes with my theme a bit more. All right, so I'm home and I've got changed. I've really dressed the part. I put on my grandma's Christmas apron, which doesn't really fit me. The boob part is way too big for me. So if it looks odd, that's why, but yeah. Really looking the part. Chelsea and Sam were already here, but they're hiding. <laughs> they're hiding behind the camera, but they look so cute and Christmassy. So we're actually going to be cooking all together now because I spent so long trying to like do the shopping. So turns out we're going to be cooking while we have the party. But that's good because I have no idea how to cook a roast, so that will be helpful. But anyway, I thought I would go through everything and do a bit of a haul and tell you guys what I've got. So I basically just went to Coles and then I went to Woolworths for something as well. And, oh, I also went to a chicken shop to buy a chicken. So it's like a ready cooked one because I didn't want to try and cook it myself. So yeah, I got that. But anyway, let's start off here. So I got these Christmas crackers. There's only, I think five or six of us coming to this little Christmas party. So I've got six Christmas crackers. I then got some Yorkshire puddings from Woolworths. And a few of you guys probably don't know what Yorkshire puddings are because it's actually an English thing. And I know like my audience is predominantly Australian, but they're actually something that you have with your roast in England and I've always had them and I love them. Although I feel like in Australia people use them for their desserts, like they put stuff inside of it and for their desserts, I don't know. It's in the dessert section of the aisle anyway, but that's what they look like. They're so good, you put gravy in them and it just tastes amazing. So Chelsea actually bought me some avocado dip. Even though I'm intolerant to it. She's intolerant to avocado, so you know, avocado dip. And I got some more dips as well, so I got the basil with cashews and parmesan, and I also got the roasted garlic hummus. Hummus, hummus, hummus. I then picked up this cheese selection. It's got camembert, tasty cheddar, cream cheese, and gouda. So I got that. I'm really excited about this next thing. So I actually got some pigs in blankets. And like, I thought everyone knew what pigs in blankets were, but then I was telling my boyfriend's mum that I was getting these yesterday. She's like, what's a pig in a blanket? 
to a soaking piece. I might, you know, like a sausage wrapped in bacon. So I feel like I need to clarify in case any of you guys haven't heard of pigs and blankets before. It's basically like little cocktail sausages wrapped in bacon and, and then you cook them and they're so good. So it's a very like Christmassy thing to have. I just got them from Coles actually and they were really good because they're like already pre-wrapped and everything. So I just need to put them in the oven. Then we have some more Doritos. Who bought this? Me. Chelsea. Chelsea bought the Doritos. Some Coke, some tonic water. We've got some honey soy chicken chips. Then we've got some crackers. I'm gonna do like a little cheese board or something. So I've got some plain water crackers and some that have pepper on them. Then I've got some celebrations because I figured that you need to have like a box of chocolates when you're having a Christmas party. And I personally like celebrations the best. What do you like the best? Do you like? Like if you were gonna get between Favourite celebrations, roses or quality street, what would you have? Favourites. Favourites? Yeah. Really? But favourites you can have any time though. Anything at Christmas time, I'd say Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher? Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh. I like celebrations because they've got the Maltese. No, no, no. They're still yummy. The Maltese yeah. looks so good. Then Chelsea also bought some more crackers. We're going to have so much food. We've got some nuts. I got some mixed salted nuts. Then over here we've got some whole cranberry sauce because that's what you have with Christmas food. Do you eat that? No. They don't eat it. That's good. No. Um, then we've got some gravy yeah. and this is the Bisto gravy which my mum swears by. She's like it's the best gravy. It's basically just granules and then you add some hot water to it and it just turns into a really nice thick gravy. It's really good. Then I've got some white potatoes. Oops. Got some potatoes because we're going to do some roast potatoes. We've got some carrots because I plan on doing some glazed carrots and we can also like dip them into our dips and stuff. And then these are probably completely defrosted now, but I picked up some frozen Brussels sprouts and frozen peas. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be the only one who likes Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I see them all. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I like I like Brussels sprouts. Comment down below if you like Brussels sprouts, but like I That's what we'd be threatened with as a kid. If yeah. you don't eat your dinner, you get Brussels sprouts. Yeah. I don't get it though. Like, I think they're nice, like, big peas. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've ever had one. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna try one today. Um, oh, also, Sam got us this really cute little reindeer cake. I'll come up close so you guys can see it in a second, but we got that. And she also chopped up some Christmas ham, which looks amazing. We've got my chicken, which smells so good. And then, Sam made this massive cobbler. I'm so excited about this. Sam, do you want to tell us what's inside the cobbler? It's got spinach, sour cream, cream cheese, and French onion. So it's like a French onion spinach dip. dip. So basically like a dip that's in a big loaf. And then I think that's it. But then we've also got some other girls coming and they're also bringing more food, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a fruit salad and my friend Courtney is gonna be making her like famous guacamole. She makes it the best guac, so. Yeah, that's everything that I've got. So now we're gonna start cooking it and have a drink and just get on with a little Christmas party. I wanted to show you guys the Christmas cake a little bit closer, but this is it. A little reindeer, so cute. of the dinner well lunch but we call it Christmas dinner anyway so it's all ready the girls have never tried Yorkshire puddings before so I'm really excited for you to try them and tell me what you think I think they think they're bizarre what do you reckon they are Courtney what do you think it is they look like a meat pie with no meat a meat pie with no meat or like a what's it called a volavon a volavon yeah. anyway we've got Christmas ham potatoes carrots chicken, Yorkshire puddings, um, peas, and Brussels sprouts, although the girls don't like Brussels sprouts. These need to be heated up too, they're cold. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they're steam, I just touched a Brussels sprout and it was cold. We also have gravy, but we've also just eaten so much, like we had so many snacks just before. Yeah, over there, so we're on to the second course. Yay! <laughs> What do you get if you cross a sheep with a kangaroo? A 
shape of the kangaroo. A shrew. A shoe. A woolly jumper. <laughs> oh. Why are goats so bad at lying? Why? Because you can see right through them. <laughs> Why is it easy to weigh a fish? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Because it has its own scales. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, why do I always lose? I always lose. Uh, I think she still wins, I'm really. I lose, but I, I win anyway. You know? What's your joke? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> why did the chewing gum cross the road? Because <laughs> he's the choo choo tray. <laughs> Literally, no, wrong. <laughs> because it was stuck to the chicken. What? Oh, oh yeah. that's dumb. That's Comedic so genius. Genius. <laughs> Comedic genius. Do you want a toy? Yeah, what, what what's your toy? Oh, it's sticky tape, which is actually quite good because I always need some. Okay, so I forgot to end off the video again. I swear I always forget to end off my videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had such a fun time celebrating Christmas with my friends and we ate so much food as you guys saw. I feel so lucky that I was able to buy all of that food and have such a fun time with my friends. Obviously, you don't need to have as much food as we got to have a good time, but I am really grateful that I was able to do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and it made you feel festive. And if you're planning on doing like a little Christmas get together with your friends, maybe this would have given you some inspiration. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.